a little bit of an extra pop. That was a challenge, but we worked through it and uh, we're better for it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, the best place to build your tech career and have fun along the way. I'm Liz and today I'm super excited because I'm gonna chit chat and get ready because it's Thanksgiving week and I wanted to do a festive look, something appropriate for this week and the holidays. So I also wanted to give you life updates because this past semester has been crazy and I haven't been able to upload as much as I want to. The Spain vlogs will be coming, the rest of the Spain videos will come, so stay tuned for that and uh, let's jump into it. It feels so good to be in front of the camera filming again. I missed talking to you guys and keeping up with everything that has been going on with me this past fall because I am currently in like the last weeks of fall 2022 semester in the third year of my PhD studies and this semester has gone by like really 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 quickly and I think it's because I've finally been able to do activities at my school since we had some online things for the last two years. So now I can meet new people and I'm a lot busier. For example, there were a few different Halloween themed events going on at my school. There was a Halloween party event and I got to dress up. I dressed as a witch and then I also did a couple's costume as Evelyn and Rick O'Connell from The Mummy. I also found out that I got published in the Brain Behavior and Immunity Journal. So that was really awesome. The reason that I've been sort of overwhelmed with trying to upload and do YouTube is because I was concerned that I would have to do PhD qualifiers this semester. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically exams so that you can continue your PhD and they can be really scary and really intense. Now, I found out that at the program I'm at, if you get A's in specific subject areas for your degree path, then you don't have to take those exams. So I worked with my advisor to sort of plan and see where I'm at with those qualifiers, which is a huge relief. So I'm really happy with that outcome. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Mel Thompson Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette. Some beautiful colors right there. And I'm also going in with the Michaela X Glam Light Pot 2 palette. Oh, it looks so pretty. Um, and these are the shades in there. So we got some purples, some greens. I might go in with those bronzes. Oh yeah, bronze shades. Besides the qualifiers, which I'm so happy that I don't have to worry about that, I have been taking three courses. Two are with my university and one was part of a scholarship program. So I have an in-person class on Tuesdays and Thursdays and that's security economics. So we apply economic principles and computer science programming to evaluate cybersecurity options. And so we have learned how to quantify risk and reward with different cybersecurity uh, practices. So that's been really interesting. I also had a big exam. I had a midterm already and I surprised myself. I got a hundred percent, which I've never in the history, like even in high school, I don't know if I ever got a hundred on a midterm. So that was a happy surprise. Um, and shout out to my friend who studied with me for that. That was a challenge, but we worked through it and uh, we're better for it. And then I'm also taking Introduction to Penetration Testing, which is a cybersecurity course, and that's online on Thursday nights. And that course has been pretty straightforward. We learned about different ways to secure your devices, and we've also learned about the practice of pen testing, which is how Basically, you get paid to act like a hacker to test different cybersecurity practices and see how secure a system is. So pen testing is basically like you are the good kind of hacker. And so it's been cool to learn about that and see if that's something I might want to pursue as a career. I'm kind of at a crossroads between whether I want to take more AI, ML, and data science courses versus taking more cybersecurity courses. As you guys know, my research is in AI, machine learning, and bioinformatics. I deep dive into those areas a lot, but recently, I am doing a research project for my security economics course and that looks at honeypot data. So why are they called honeypots? Think of a barrel of honey or a bee's nest that's full of honey. It attracts the bad guy which is the bear and they want to attack and get the honey. So a honeypot server is 
a vulnerable server that exists to see how many malicious hackers will interact with it. So honeypots are designed to understand hacker behavior and therefore make decisions on how to prevent that or how to address that if that happens. So I'm working on a research paper in that class and I'll be working on that after this Thanksgiving break. By the way, are you guys excited about Thanksgiving? Like what are you doing? What, what kind of foods do you like to eat? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I, my favorite food is honey ham, but I already kind of got some honey ham, so happy about that. I'm not the biggest turkey person, but you know, if you love turkey, that's great. And if you're a good cook, then you're better off than I am. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week this week. And if today's a bad day, tomorrow's gonna be a better day. I know it, you're gonna turn it around. This week for me, I get to spend traveling. I'm actually filming in my parents' house right now. I'm so thankful to get to spend time with family, especially because things are a little bit safer. Um, my family's not sick or anything, and I didn't knock on wood that I didn't get sick traveling. So I'm really thankful to be with everybody here. And also I'll get to see my boyfriend. He started dental school this past semester, which I'm so thrilled about because that's been his dream for a long time. People always kind of ask me like they would want to start a YouTube channel, but they feel self-conscious about how they look. But my advice to you, if you ever feel like you want to share your content, whether that's your ideas, whether that's your art, your craft, whatever it is, don't let fear stop you. Um, people aren't actually paying that much attention to your face. They care more about what you are sharing, the words that you're saying. That would be my advice. Don't ever let something like that stop you. So the two shades that I have on right now are Tree Hopper and Walking Stick. And then now I'm going to choose one of these gorgeous shades. Okay, here's the thing though, here's the thing. We have, we have a few different bronzes. This one's kind of a green gold. This one is more of a bronze and this one is a true gold gold, which I feel like is like very Christmassy. So I think I'm gonna go with 11, 20, 21. I feel like that's meant to be because I'm filming this on 11, 20, 20. Too. So that's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up with my finger. Although with these you could definitely use a glitter glue depending on how long you want your uh, shade to last and how long you want your makeup to last. A glitter glue just gives you a little bit more control so that there's no fallout happening. I'm like really happy with how things are turning out this semester. I will say over the end of summer I thought to myself I really need to get some crazy internship for summer 2023 and I started doing a job search, started applying, and have heard back from a few places, did a few hacker rank assessments and some interviews, and honestly, I think it kind of stressed me out, and I'm not sure that, given the fact that many companies are doing massive tech layoffs, I'm not sure that it's gonna get less stressful. So for me, I'm gonna be flexible this summer and see if some great opportunity comes my way, that's awesome, and if it doesn't, that's okay. I can do research, I can work on independent projects, and I also would love to make more computer science content here. And if you don't follow me on my other platforms, uh, please do. I actually went viral on Instagram recently. I had a reel that hit over 120,000 views and over 16,000 likes. And that's a record for likes for me. I don't think on any other platform I've ever had that many likes. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And on TikTok, I have the most followers of any platform right now. So please check that out. TikTok for me is really easy to film. So I'm posting about three times a day there. So if you think, wow, Elizabeth never posts on YouTube. It's because I'm trying to post a little bit everywhere. So please follow me there and you'll be able to see a little bit more into my life. I do post stories there as well. I do post on Facebook as well, but sometimes people don't use Facebook. Facebook as much I've found. So here's how it's looking so far. It's looking a little basic. So I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna add this purple shade just to change it up. You know, why not? But also I haven't neglected posting some shorts here on YouTube. And I do think that some of them have gotten a good amount of traction. So I know some of you are new subscribers and you found me through shorts. So thank you so much for the support on that. I make it a priority to read every comment and I also get back to you if you leave me questions. And I'd love if you guys have any ideas of what kind of content you'd like to see, especially in December, I feel like it's a great time to experiment and have fun, do some holiday kind of videos, and then also 
some more educational videos so I'm sort of open to whatever you guys are interested in seeing so please comment if you guys have any ideas okay so I put a little bit of that authenticity shade it's like a purple and then I used the lighter brown from the Mel Thompson palette to kind of blend it and now I'm gonna go in with that bronze and we're just gonna put that just a little bit on the center right there so in the inner corner and under the brow I went in with web which is this nice champagne highlight and then I did mascara with the Maybelline Colossal mascara and I only did the upper lashes because I really wanted you to see the pop with the lower lashes now for video ideas that I'm excited about for this month I was thinking I might do a vlog at home if I'm doing some fun things a vlog with friends I love to feature other people in my videos and I wish more of my friends wanted to be on camera but I totally respect that everyone is different with their privacy now I will say I was thinking of doing 25 days of code like 25 days till Christmas because I know a lot of you don't know much about computer science or are scared of learning how to code so I think if I could set that up as like a foundation we could learn a little bit of code each day until Christmas I also want to do a holiday gift guide so if any of that sounds good to you guys please let me know in the comments or subscribe like it does help me out a lot and I really appreciate if you do. For blush, I'm using the Patrick Ta Duo blush in She's So LA. I like this because there's a powder and also a cream so you can really build up the color and the pigment. And this also is kind of like a blush bronzer hybrid because this color is like beautifully bronze but also like terracotta. Now I'm gonna go in with the cream. That's this shade that's gonna give little bit of a sheen, a little bit of an extra pop. And yes, Black Friday shopping is happening this week, okay? Basically last year I got a bunch of holiday money and saved it and haven't spent it, so I do have some money that I wanted to spend. My birthday is also coming up on December 10th, so I may, you know, do some early birthday shopping, who knows? Don't shop alone, shop with your friends. Does that mean you have to go outside to do that? No. Just call a friend over, you get your laptops ready, you do your online shopping together, bada bing, bada boom, and then it gets shipped to your door. So uh, so that's, that's probably what I'm gonna do, but I'll probably do a mix of both because I think I have some friends here um, back home that I might be able to see and we could do some shopping, some damage together, okay? Because if you're gonna break the bank, don't break the bank alone. So now for highlight, I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Divine Blush Trio and I'm taking the highlight shade Golden Nectar and we're just gonna pop that on right like so. Ooh. Oh, yes, okay, you see this? You see this? Now for lips, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Basic Beige. I have been obsessed with these lip stains and I think they're only like five or six dollars. I couldn't talk while I was doing that, but the reason I love these so much is because, well one, they're very affordable. Two, it's easy. And I'm someone who has a hard time like drawing the line, like the lip line, it's too much, it's too much. So this is nice because it looks hydrating, it looks healthy, it wasn't too complicated, and when it fades throughout the day, it looks, I swear it looks even better. Like it looks like your natural lip color, but better. Now they do have some darker shades, some lighter shades than this, but this one has been my go-to. Okay, here's what the finished look turned out like. Do we like it? Look at that sparkle, look at the cheek. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon. Yes.